Good afternoon respected ma'am and all my dear batch mates today I Priyankita Daniel of BSC Nursing 4th year is here to present my topic on National Cancer Control Program National Cancer Control Program Introduction The National Cancer Control Program was launched in the year 1975 to 1976 and raised in the year 1984 in order to cater the changing needs of the disease the program has undergone three revisions within the third revision in December 2004 this program has now been integrated into national program for prevention and control of cancer cardiovascular diseases diabetes and stroke since 2011 now we will be dealing with the goals and objectives of national cancer control program so the first one is to promote primary prevention of cancer by health education especially regarding hazards of tobacco consumption and necessity of genital hygiene for prevention of cervical cancer second is to promote secondary prevention that is the early detection and diagnosis of cancer third is to strengthen the existing cancer treatment facilities which are woefully inadequate fourth is to provide palliative care in the terminal stage of cancer furthermore we will be now dealing with the need for launching the national cancer control program A report stated by the National Institute of Health and Family Welfare says that in India it is estimated that there are 2 to 2.5 million cancer patients at any given point of time with about 0.7 million new cases are coming every year and nearly half of them die every year. Two third of the new cancers are presented in the advanced and incurable stage at the time of diagnosis. More than 60% of the affected patients are in the age group between 35 to 65 years of age. There are predictions of increased seven multiple folds of cases of tobacco related cancer morbidity in between 1995 to 2025. Therefore, to control this problem, the government of India has launched a national cancer control program in 1975 and in 1984 to 1986 stressing to revise the program for primary prevention and early detection of cancer. Now, we will be dealing with the incidence of cancer in India. It is estimated that 25 lakhs of cases are found in the country. Every year about 4 lakhs death occur due to cancer. 40% of the cancers in the country are related to tobacco use. Data from the National Cancer Registry program informs that there are leading sites of cancer among men are cancer of oral cavity, lungs, esophagus and stomach. Among women, major sites of cancer are cancer of uterine, cervix, breasts and oral cavity. Around 50% of the cancer deaths occur in India, namely those of oral and lungs were found in males and cervix and breasts in females. Now, we will be dealing with the risk factors of cancers. First one is aging, second one is tobacco consumption, third one is sun exposure. The fourth one is the radiation exposure, fifth one is the chemicals and other substances and the sixth one is viruses causing cancer. The seventh risk factor is the bacteria causing cancer. Here we can see in this picture that uh, in the blue colored range we can see that a few of the bacteria are there which enhance the risk of cancer whereas in the second one we can see which is shown in red and pink color that uh, these are few bacteria which are used for the cancer treatment then furthermore we see in the next picture which is the eighth one that poor dietary patterns are also one of the major factors for causing cancer The ninth risk factor is the family history, 10th is poor dietary pattern, 11th is alcohol consumption and 12th is overweight. So these were few of the risk factors which were responsible for causing cancer. Now, 
I will be sharing few signs and symptoms regarding cancer. So the first one is weight loss. Second one is poor appetite. The third one is fatigue and the fourth one is diaphoresis. The fifth picture shows us about the kaikex here and the sixth one shows about anemia. Now we will be dealing with the evolution of National Cancer Control Program. In the year 1975 to 1976, National Cancer Control Program was launched. In 1984 to 1986, strategy was revised and stress was laid on the primary prevention and early detection of cancer cases. 1991 to 1992, District Cancer Control Program was initiated. 2000 to 2001, modified district program was initiated. 2004, evaluation of National Cancer Control Program by National Institute of Health and Family Welfare (NIHFW). 2005, program was revised after evaluation. Now we will be dealing with the existing schemes under National Cancer Control Program. There are five schemes under the revised program: recognition of new regional cancer center (RCCs) by providing a one-time grant of rupees five point zero zero crores; strengthening of existing RCCs by providing a one-time grant of rupees three point zero zero crores; development of oncology wing by providing enhancement grant of rupees. 3.00 crore to the government institutions medical colleges and as well as the hospitals district cancer control program by providing enhanced grant in aid of rupees 90.00 lakhs are spent over a period of 5 years decentralized ngo schemes by providing a grant of rupees 8000 per camp to the ngo Rashtriya Aayog Nidhi (RAN) Regional Cancer Research and Treatment Centers, Oncology Wings in Medical Colleges, District Cancer Control Program, National Cancer Registry Program, Tobacco Free Initiatives by WHO in the year 1998. Now we will be dealing with WHO stepwise framework. So. There are three major steps, uh, which are that where we are now. It means that we need to investigate the present state of the cancer problem and cancer control service or programs. The second one is that where do we want to be? It means that we need to formulate and adopt policies. This includes defining the target population. setting goals and objectives and deciding on the priority inversions across the cancer continent and the third one is that we need uh, that how do we get there it means that we need to identify the steps needed to implement the policy uh furthermore we can see the planning phase is followed by the policy implementation phase and uh, the implementation phase also has three categories the first one is core in the core one we say that the implement inversions in the policy that are feasible now with existing resources and the second one is expanded in expanded we see the implement investigations in the policy that are feasible in the minimum term with a realistic projected increase in or allocation of resource and the third one is desirable it means that implement inversions in the policy that are beyond the reach of the current resources if and when such resources become available now just for general information i would like to also tell you about the national cancer awareness day so the national cancer awareness day is observed on 7th november to in- coincide with the birth anniversary of the eminent scientist madam curie mary curie is remembered for her discovery of radium and polonium and her huge contribution to the fight against cancer 
Her work led to the development of nuclear energy and radiotherapy for the treatment of cancer. Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare Dr. Harshvardhan had announced in 2014 that 7th November will be observed as National Cancer Awareness Day every year to generate awareness about early detection and avoid leading cancer causing lifestyles. assignment question number 1 what does nccp stands for give brief generalized idea regarding nccp question number 2 state the goals and objectives of nccp question number 3 why there was a great need to launch the program termed as nccp question number 4 enumerate the incidences of cancer in india Question number 5 explain the risk factors or target the people who are much more prone to have cancer Question number 6 elaborate about the evaluation of the NCCP Question number 7 briefly explain about the existing schemes under NCCP Question number 8 describe the stepwise WHO framework for NCCP Question number 9 Which date on the calendar is spotted as National Cancer Awareness Day? Question number 10. In which year who announced the date regarding the observation of National Cancer Awareness Day? Thank you so much for watching this video so patiently. Thank you once again.